Hey guys, Lewis here with Fedivo. Today we will look at a brand new feature added to DaVinci Resolve with the recent 18.5 update, which is the feature to upload directly to TikTok. We'll also look at some of the best practices for creating TikTok content in DaVinci Resolve. And as always, it's never recommended to download the beta when in the middle of a project. As the largest social media platform, TikTok's growth and massive audience verticals are impressive. Even if you think TikTok is largely for Gen Z performing Fortnite dances, there is potential for you to get your work out there too under a mass audience. Okay, first we need to connect DaVinci Resolve to TikTok. To do this, you're gonna head to the preferences menu, down into the internet accounts, and then select connect next to TikTok. You will then be directed to TikTok's website where you will have to sign in and authorize the connection. Once your account is linked, you can use the TikTok preset on the delivery page to upload your video directly to TikTok. So at the moment, we're gonna skip the best practices and instead just continue running through the delivery process if that's all you're here for. Okay, so while on the delivery page, after you've edited your content, you're then gonna select the TikTok preset, which is by here. And we're gonna be presented with a variety of parameters that for the most part, we do not need to adjust. In fact, I recommend keeping anything related to the video section exactly as it is. However, there are several TikTok related settings to look at. We of course have to give the TikTok a title and then we can choose if we want the video to be public for friends or private for upload. Perhaps if you're hesitant to simply go straight from DaVinci Resolve to TikTok, you could leave this private at first. And then we have these settings that activate specific sharing features within the TikTok platform such as allowing others to react to your video or share it. For the most part, I would recommend in ticking all of these boxes to allow for further sharing and visibility of your video. Of course, make sure the upload directly to TikTok checkbox is selected, add your video to render queue, and then click render all. Now DaVinci Resolve will render the video in the selected format to your local computer, and then automatically upload it to TikTok too. So you could also just then send this video over to Instagram Reels so you're on both platforms. This helps remove the tedious process of exporting the video, uploading to Google Drive and then downloading it to your mobile, then to TikTok, or maybe at the very least exporting it to your desktop, then opening the TikTok browser and then uploading it there. If you create a lot of TikToks for your social media content, this process, while initially minimal, is gonna save you a lot of time over the long run. Now with this covered, let's run through some of the best practices to ensure that your content looks great on TikTok. Of course, the platform is vertical, but if you have yet to film vertically, then you don't want to edit in a nine by 16 timeline resolution, as that will make finding the subject extremely difficult. So instead, first edit your video TikTok as desired, and then change the timeline resolution when finished to 1080 by 1920. While in the Timeline Properties Manager, we also have this very important parameter to adjust, mismatched resolution. It's imperative that you select Scale Fill Frame with Crop. This will ensure that your video is scaled to fit the new resolution. As I go through the other checkboxes, you can see it doesn't really look that great and then we have to manually scale up. However, we now need help. In some of our shots, especially the ones that move, the subject is no longer visible in the composition. Now, we could obviously run through the tedious task of turning on the keyframe for the position and then manually moving the video clip for the subject to remain in frame throughout the process of the clip. Or, alternatively, we could turn on DaVinci Resolve's Smart Reframe, which is a neural engine-powered tool that identifies where the main subject is in your image and then automatically adjusts the clip as needed. This tool was built for resolutions like this and it is a godsend in situations where you have yet to film vertically, have a lot of movement and your character or your subject moves throughout the frame. Finally, one more best practice to follow is to go over to the color page and change the node structure from clip to timeline. And then you're just gonna add a smidgen of sharpness, nothing much, 
I'm just gonna go down from 50 to 47. And I suggest doing this because of the typical online compression that is found on apps such as Instagram Reels that have so much video content, the quality is gonna get squashed that tiny bit. And then when sharpening the video, it's gonna retain some of that quality from your cinema camera and leave it sticking out from the pack. Okay, so that's how you upload directly to TikTok. These are some of the best practices for converting your 16 by nine video into TikTok quality footage. Now you just need to fight off against Gen Z. So good luck.